Okay, let's put a little bit of text here as part of our title. Uh, again, uh, anything we create inside of Fireworks that we draw um, or make is going to probably come out of this vector category here, the tool. So I'm going to come over to this vector category, pick up the tool with the T on it. Now you can see the property bar now change to text properties. Now I'm not going to I'm not going to click and drag out a uh, text box. I'm just going to click a text box will form and as I type that text box will grow to be just the right size. So Okay, so I get some text in there. Um, once I have the the letters out I'm going to switch back here to the uh, black selection tool, the black pointer tool. And with that tool, I can click and drag this bit, bit of text around and change its properties down here. So I think it needs to be a little bit bigger. Um, remember, it looks a little bit fuzzy because I'm zoomed out on it so far, but I still want to uh, work on it here, maybe make it quite a bit bigger. Okay, and. Um, might pick a different font that shows up a little bit better. So if I want to change the font here, you can see there can be quite a list depending on your computer. But the the nice thing is that as I roll over these different uh, font types here, I get a preview of that font, and the preview is is a preview of the text that I've written. So I can kind of see how my text is going to look in this font. So uh, I'll just pick a font here, try to find one um, that's a little bit bolder. So now I can scale that back a little bit. Yeah, well, I'm not going to. Let's just pick something um, a little simpler. OK, so now I've picked my font for my title. And to help me make this font stand out a little bit, I've got a pretty busy background there. So I, wanna, I want this font to stand out. So I might try putting a, a stroke around it. So here in the property bar, uh, there's a little pencil with a um, color picker. I'm just going to put a little black border around it. Now if we zoom in on that font, you can see a little bit better of how it's actually going to look. Okay, so there is that font. Or even if I went to 100% here, um, you get a better idea of what it's going to look like. Now if I need to change anything about my font, I spelled something wrong or I want to capitalize something, if I just double click on it, um, that takes me back into text editing mode. So I could change any of the lettering that I wanted to change or spelling. Okay, and then go get the black selection tool again. Now that little thin black border helped this stand out a little bit from the background, but if I didn't think it was enough, I might want to put a, uh, I could try putting a little drop shadow on it. So down here in the filter category, uh, again, click the plus shadow, and this time I just want to drop shadow. Okay, so um, now I've got a little drop shadow underneath there, and that might be um, just enough to make it stand out. Now if, as part of your title, you want a little subtitle or a tagline or something, um, instead of trying to get, get all that into one text box, I'm just going to go over and pick up another text box, maybe size this one down a little bit, click where I want it to be, and I could type in my um, subtitle if that's what I want needed here. Okay, and then I might f um, format that again. Um, it's on a busy background, it's going to be hard to see there, so uh, maybe I'll try to make this black, see if that stands out a little bit. Oh, missed black. All right, and if that, again, if that's hard to see, might try in this case a white border on it. And, you know, position it over there, I think. All right, so with that much, I might be done with the title portion. And you can see up here I've got these two bits of text um, that are showing. So if I think I'm finished with them, I will, I'm will. i going to lock those up. I'll leave them uh, visible. I'll leave the, the eyeballs on. Uh, and in the next tutorial, I'm going to start working on the footer. Now, I may not need a footer because this uh, black line with the shadow may be enough of a uh, visual uh, indicator of the bottom of my page, um, but sometimes it's nice to know uh, and to actually look at it in the browser. So just like in um, Dreamweaver, I can come in and do a preview in the browser here so I can see what it's really going to look like. So let me preview this in Firefox. 
Okay, and pull it over here so you can kind of see what it's looking like so far. So that's what it's actually looking like in Firefox right now. Um, so it just gives me an idea of where we are in the process. And I got still got some work to do, but we're going to work on the footer in the next tutorial.